It was definitely very, very hard when I was first plopped into a Russian school. I was old enough that I kind of prepared myself for it. I was like, okay, you're not going to know what's going on. Just sit there, do nothing. It doesn't matter. And that's pretty much what I did. If I didn't know what was going on, I just sat there and did nothing. The only things that I knew about Russia is that there's a lot of snow, they speak a different language, and they have Matryoshka dolls. That's literally all I knew. It was very difficult. Now, I think I just speak freely. It's not easy to speak. Здравствуйте, товарищи! We moved to Moscow because of my dad's work. He's a journalist for the New York Times. Thank you guys. Hey guys, say hello, first day of school. My family decided that we would all, the kids, go to a Russian school because we really wanted to really live in the culture and really get to know it. So we had heard a lot of things about Soviet-style schools. All the kids are sitting there very straight. They have to like put one arm up when they want to raise their hands, and it's all very strict, and the teachers are not nice, and they will yell at the kids and call them stupid. I did know that I didn't want to go to a school like that. Soviet school was the school where there were only two opinions. The opinion of teacher which was right one, and all the others which were wrong. My vision was that the school must be quite different, and the children must be taught to think. They were put in a very, very difficult situation, because they were not prepared for learning in Russian. The methods are different. Everything is different, and I had a lot of doubts. It was hard, especially in the first year. There were lots of times where I was just like, oh my god, get me out of here. It's not happening. It's all right. She'll be fine. I was actually really excited about learning Russian. Before I learned how it's actually very hard to learn a different language. I learned not to beat myself up for not being as good as the other kids because there was really nothing I could do about it. I just didn't speak Russian and they did. Russian is a very hard language. People think that for kids, it's so easy to learn a language, which is true to a certain extent. But I was nine, and when I started learning the language, it was really hard. Uh, George, nephew. Huh? So after four months, when I still didn't really speak the language, uh, of course it was very frustrating because like, if you want to say something to someone and you can't, it's very annoying. My brother Emmett, who was only four or five, he definitely had a very different experience than I did because I don't think he even noticed he was somewhere else other than the fact that people were speaking in a strange language he didn't really understand. Sometimes I actually didn't understand like what I had to do. I feel like I don't know this, I can't do this, what is this for? Sometimes I just get frustrated. My parents were, were worried that it would just be too stressful for us. We came here from going to PS321, a Brooklyn public elementary school. The next poem is by Arden Dresner Levy. And PS321 was like, everybody's the winner. 
everybody. The most important thing is to have fun. Everybody plays. There's no luck for second, third place. Here, it's a completely different situation. It's like a different planet. Here, they send an entirely different message to the kids. They're like, learning is hard, but you have to do it. You have to get good grades. That's just what you have to do. In the hallway, there's a special wall where they hang up the rating of the entire school for everyone to see. And there's different groups. First, there's the best, then the middle, then the worst, and then like the, oh my god, you're really bad. And th that's the idea, like that it's going to get kids m be to be more competitive. <laughs> Besides the fact that we're doing everything in a different language, the school itself, even for Russian students, is really challenging. There's so many tests, and sometimes they're oral, and then this panel of teachers asks you questions, and it's only you up there at the board, and it's very nerve-wracking. Their goal is to basically to ask me all these tricky questions and make me really scared, and even if you say something right, they'll go like, Really? Just to make you like, just to see if you're confident, if you really, really know things. It was all, kind of like solving a code because every day you just have to figure out something new to say and some new way you have to act. It's very important to the school to learn how to think outside the box, to just not kind of be a robot who can only think of like one way to solve a problem. The children must be taught to think. If you think that two plus two is always four, then you are an idiot. Two cats plus plus two sausages is two cats. I've learned a lot because teachers stay so late at school and you could always go up to them and they'll always stay and they'll always help you with homework or anything you need and they're really dedicated. The teachers in a way help me. When I said, which is, I don't know what to do. It's as if the kids at school are actually their children. We spend so much time at the school, way more time than we do at home. Kids end up getting really, really close with their teachers. Здравствуйте, с вами Даня Леви, Ингаша Ньюс. Even though at times this experience has been really hard, I'm definitely more brave at starting new things. It's like I'm not afraid to go and do something that I've never done before because I just know that it's not as scary as it seems. I definitely think that I want to live abroad at some point in the future, but for now I feel like I just want to go back to New York. <laughs> I just feel sad that we're leaving. I just like feel I want to stay here forever. Why do I have to leave now? I just got used to it. So I feel it, it was worth it, but I feel sad that now we're leaving. I feel like I'm tugged in two ways and I have no idea what to do. That's the one problem with living abroad. You end up getting those weird feelings like, oh, I can't leave, I can't stay, I can't leave, I can't stay. But I'm always going to feel a part of Russian culture, like the language, the traditions, the food, definitely the food. I'm always going to love it.